I'm Dr. Tanya. Welcome to Mommy Calls, your go-to source for everything pediatrics. Today's topic is how to prevent ear infections. There are a few ways that you can help decrease the number of ear infections in your child. The first thing is breastfeeding your baby. This does decrease the number of ear infections as well as other childhood diseases. Another way to decrease ear infections is to make sure that you don't put your baby to bed with a bottle because drinking a bottle while laying flat can cause fluid to accumulate in the middle ear which can lead to ear infections. Also making sure that your baby is not exposed to smoke, even secondhand smoke, because smoke can increase your child's chance for getting ear infections. There are also some great vaccines the Prevnar and the Hib vaccine to help prevent the two most common and more serious causes of bacterial ear infections. So making sure that your child is completely vaccinated can also decrease the number of ear infections that she has in the first few years of life. Making sure that your child stays healthy and doesn't get sick is also a good way to help decrease the number of ear infections in your family. So you wanna teach your kids when they're young to wash their hands, Make sure they're eating healthy, getting plenty of sleep, and they're up to date on all of their vaccines. Ear infections themselves aren't contagious. However, that cold that your child had prior to developing an ear infection is. Taking a bath and getting a little bit of water in their ear also won't cause a middle ear infection or make the ear infection that your child has worse. Now, if you suspect an ear infection, if your child has a cold for a few days and then starts having a fever, tugging on their ears, waking up at night crying, make sure you see your pediatrician so they can take a look and see if your child does have an ear infection and if she does have an ear infection, if it really needs to be treated. I'm Dr. Tanya. See you next time on Mommy Calls.